Lovely to see you again. As you know, I'm Dr. Calming Escape. How are you feeling today? Okay, well, I believe I read on your appointment that um, you're concerned with a little bit of your breathing, your lungs for the fall and into winter months, is that correct? We're gonna have a listen to your lungs and see how they're sounding and if we can do anything to uh, help you to breathe a little stronger and better throughout the colder months. Okay? Good. Well, to get started, I do want to listen to your heart and lungs, of course. Just try and relax. That doctor's appointments can usually be a little stressful, but just try and calm yourself. I'm going to be moving my stethoscope around the front of your chest and your back just to hear some different sounds, check your heart and see if I can hear any wheezing in your lungs or constriction. Okay. Now, have you been diagnosed with any sort of breathing condition before? Um, asthma, chronic bronchitis, anything? Okay. And are you a smoker? Okay. Alright, are you around? Any secondhand smoke? And how are your allergies? Do you have anything specific besides the cold that you notice tightens up your lungs? Okay, we can always schedule you for an allergy test as well. See if maybe some dust or certain pollens, pets, things like that could be a trigger for you. It doesn't mean you have to get rid of your family pets. It's just always good to be cautious about if you give your cat or your dog a pet to wash your hands after before you touch your face. Always good to not have your face super close to the pets, but that's only if you're allergic. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So. Let's get on listening to your heart and lungs. Warm this up for you, hon. Okay, good. Now, first I'm going to listen to your heart so you can just breathe normal. Can you hold your breath for me? And breathe. Hold your breath again. And breathe. Good. Alright. Now I'm going to be listening to your lungs now. To start, you're just going to continue to breathe nice and normal for me. Okay, I'm going to listen to your back now once again. Just breathe nice and normal for me.
Okay. Now I want you to take a nice deep breath with me. Okay, breathe in. Again. 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 Good. When you do those deep breaths, do you feel any tightness or struggle to get the breath all the way down? Okay. Another deep breath for me. Gonna listen to your back now. We're gonna continue with that nice deep breath, okay? So anytime you feel my stethoscope move, just take a nice deep breath. Good. Good job. Good. Same thing here, and another deep breath, good, one more, okay, and then just go back to your normal breathing for me, good. Hold your breath for me. Breathe. One more time. Hold your breath for me. Breathe. Okay. Okay, so you can hear a little bit of wheezing at the bottom of your breath there. Mm -hmm. um, not too concerning, but as we do head into the cooler months, if you are noticing that this is an occurring problem for you. I definitely want to address it now instead of later. Exactly. So, um, I know that we had prescribed you a rescue inhaler mm -hmm. for if you were to have any really harsh breathing attacks, right? Okay. Because it was more seasonal asthma, right? Okay, so not... All year long, that's good. <laughs> okay. Now, um, have we talked about potentially getting you on a daily inhaler or inhaled steroid for the winter months and see how that does for your lungs? Okay. Okay. Is that something that you would be interested in? Essentially the the goal with the daily inhalers would be to get you to where you don't have to reach for that rescue inhaler. Take care of the wheezing, the constriction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because when you start to have an attack, it's not just as simple as, you know, your airways closing up. It can be intense and Inflammation, um, you can have mucus, and your airways get so small that that is that struggle to breathe. And I don't want any of my patients experiencing that. So you're used to the rescue inhaler if you get to that point. If it's still a problem, which it sounds like it is, I maybe want you to try out the everyday just to see if we can eliminate the attacks. Together. Of course. Okay, 
So I think I'm going to grab you some samples of those daily inhalers. Uh, no, I'm not gonna write a prescription for you just yet, and you know, I understand how costly those things can be, so I'm gonna pull from uh, some of our um, samples. Oh yes, we, we have enough samples, so don't even worry about it. And you can try that out for a couple months, Kind of report back to me on how you're doing. Mm -hmm. We always have our portal that you can email me on in case anything gets better or worse. As always, if you start to have a really bad attack, it's always better to be seen in an emergency room or urgent care, exactly. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab a couple of those samples for you. Okay, so here's one. I think I'm gonna start you on this because you're used to the inhaler and this is very similar to it. Mm -hmm. You're going to take this twice a day, morning and evening, and it's very much like your regular inhaler to squeeze, breathe, hold, exactly. Um, so with our other ones, we have the discs where um, it has the, where it has the kind of crunched up, broken pieces that you inhale. This is more of like a spray, so since you're more used to this, I want to start you on this and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this will last you quite some time with the twice a day, but I'm going to give you some extras as well, just to be on the safe side. Mm hmm Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna give you the pamphlet with it in case you have any questions of use, but you're very used to this. Um, with this type of inhaler, again, it's very important that you wash out your mouth after use. You don't want any sort of um, bacteria buildup or infection because of this not making it all the way into your lungs, okay? Okay, perfect. I wanted to, um, now have you been given a peak flow meter yet? Okay. Okay. No, that's fine. So, basically the peak flow meter is we're going to adjust and see where your levels are for your asthma check. Green level is a fantastic breathing day. The yellow area is a day when you should use your inhaler to make sure you're okay. And if you're in the red zone, that's the days when it's really serious. It needs to be taken seriously and you need to be seen by a doctor. Mm-hmm. Yes, always use your inhaler, even if you're on your way there. Okay, good. So we're going to set you up with one of these to get your asthma check levels, depending on how you, what levels your blow peak is going to be. Okay, so that's going to be for you too. good way to monitor our respiratory conditions. Right, I'm gonna go ahead while you're here and palpate your face real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna feel under here. I'm going to tap on your chest. Okay, I'm going to 
top on your back as well. Okay, this line too. to kind of make notes in your phone maybe, that's an easy way, on if you're having to use your rescue inhaler more often, or if it's subdued. If things don't progress in the way we want, we can look into a couple other um, options for you. We could get you an at-home nebulizer, or there's a few other things, but you're not to that step yet. I think that yours can be controlled pretty easily at home, so don't worry your stress on it. That can make the lungs a little bit tighter, so just don't worry. You're doing everything you should be with the rescue inhaler, and your new one I think is going to fit you just fine. Okay? Perfect. So, um, check the pool for that appointment reminder to have a follow-up with how the medications are doing for you. Mm -hmm. And you let me know if you have any other questions. You can just email me. Alright. Well, it's good to see you again. I hope you take care. I will see you next time. Bye now.